Now Gumsticks offers a custom-built Raspberry Pi CN4 development board that gives you full access to all the interfaces on CN4. Built for applications like AI, robotics, and advanced industrial automation, the CN4 development board has everything for your next embedded product. For more information, please check out our website. My name is Lina, an embedded system developer intern at Gumsticks. I have also used this Gumsticks CM4 development board for my personal project and realized it was the most convenient and easiest way to build my own embedded product. The CM4 development board was designed and manufactured enough further, and all Gumsticks boards can be easily customized using reference templates available in Upverter. So today, I'll talk about how to flash the Raspberry Pi Compute Model 4 with eMMC using the CN4 development board step by step. All you need is a charger and a USB to microB cable that you can connect the board to your host computer. If you're using another custom board, please make sure that it has both power supply and USB device port. GUM6 Fast Flash can also be a good budget-friendly option if you want to flash multiple devices in succession. If you're a Windows user, you need to get an installer to install a driver and boot tools. Please visit the Raspberry Pi website and go to the Flashing the Compute Model page. Scroll down to the Windows Installer section and click the link. This standalone installer is recommended to enable the compute model as a mess storage device on your Windows. Please make sure that you're not writing to any USB device when the installer is running and then follow the instructions. Click the Raspberry Pi USB boot option, choose the install location, and then click install. It usually takes two to three minutes to install the USB boot setup. Once the installation is complete, now apply power to the board and run the RPI boot tool that was previously installed. After a few seconds, a compute model eMMC will pop up under Windows like this. If the USB device doesn't show up when you run the USB boot tool, please make sure that your board and your host computer have been connected properly. If you didn't realize there was a boot button on the different side of the board, please note that you need to hold the boot button while you powered it on. If you already have power on, hold the boot button and then press the reset button. It'll solve most of the problems when you boot the CM4, but if it still doesn't recognize the device, please ensure that the USB boot tool is running on your host computer. Gumsticks provides a custom Yocto Linux disk image for use with the Raspberry Pi CN4. Please visit the Upverter website. There is a download button for AutoBSB. Once you extract the files and open the unzip folder, you will see the readme file. Open a file, and if you see the link section, there is a list of image links, and I'll try to get the desktop full image. Please don't close the AutoBSP folder. We're going to use some files after we flash the image. Belina Etcher is one of the most recommended options for Windows users to write an image to a SD card or a USB device. Go to the Belina Etcher website and you can download the program by clicking the green button. You also need to prepare an unzip file of the image you want to write to the device. Once Belina Etcher has been downloaded, run the program and unload the unzip OS image file. Then select Compute Module as Target and click the Flash button. Once it finishes both flashing and validating, the utility will automatically mount the SD card or USB device so it is safe to remove it from your computer. The whole process will take a few minutes depending on your image file and host computer. Now, let's go back to the AutoBSP folder that we got from Upverter. There is a compiled version of the device tree overlay in the boot sector called upverter.dtbo, and we're going to use this file. With the CN4 still connected as a USB drive, copy upverter.dtbo to the overlays folder on the boot partition of CN4. 
Once you copied all these device tree files, open the file names config.txt and then comment out all the lines starting with dt param and dt overlay and add the following lines. AutoBSB deliver a custom DTB overlay for Gumstick's CM4 designs, incorporating the device tree features required by the kernel and many drivers. Additionally, you can add the following lines to enable the USB host bus. Also, there is another file called dtblob.bin, which is for camera support. This is also supposed to be in the boot sector, so let's copy and paste this file to the boot folder of the Pi. As you watch the video, you'll be able to flash the Raspberry Pi with the Gumstick CN4 development board step by step. Our first tutorial was for Windows users. Please stay tuned if you have Linux OS. Thanks for watching. I hope you all enjoyed today and see you on the next video.